Have you guys ever been fired from a job that pays $8.50 an hour? And you're 27? And you have a master's degree? When I was living in LA, I worked at this really crappy office, and uh, my boss was the biggest moron ever. When he fired me, he was reading from a script. John! And I'm pretty sure a temp typed it up. There were typos. John! You're not a team player, and we don't want people here who don't want to be part of the team. We're gonna have to let you mow. That's bullshit. I'm not mowing anywhere. Good. Luck with everything. Extend hand and wait for ex-employee John to shake it. Shake my hand, please. And at least six times a day, he would call me into his office and just accuse me of something totally ridiculous. John, come into my office, please. Shut the door, please. John, did you eat my salt? <laughs> and vinegar chips? <laughs> no? Let me smell your breath, please. Oh. <sighs> you know, that proved my innocence. Unfortunately, I know I'm drunk. <laughs> Stop being drunk, please. It's a catchphrase. Oh. And where I worked, the bathroom key was attached to a giant souvenir pencil. I understand, you know, preventing employees from accidentally maintaining their dignity. <laughs> There's no doubt where I am going right now. It's a little after lunch. I am deucey. It's a number two. Give it the program. And I'm not going to flush. That's, that's how I do it. Oh. <laughs> My, my next job after that was awesome, though. Um, my next job after that, I worked in advertising at Viacom. And I got it through a temp agency. My temp agent calls me up. She's like, John, listen, this account executive at Viacom, who was pregnant, went to labor early, freaked out. No one knows when she's coming back. They want you there in 20 minutes. <laughs> they want me? Wow. Remember, I just got fired for 8.50 an hour. Wow. <laughs> And filling in for an account executive definitely has its perks. You know, you get a good parking spot out front, you get a big office, and an assistant named Nelly. And Nelly has no idea that I don't know what the fuck is going on. The first day at work, she said, John, I forgot to submit the instructions for the church's chicken account. The bulletin's not going to go time. I don't know what to tell her, so I'm like, don't fuck me on this, Nelly. 